Well, once again, we are live here in downtown Johnson City here on Ash Street talking about this beautiful mural that is behind us celebrating the centennial of the women's suffrage movement. And we have the artist here with us who we just saw working away, putting the finishing touches on it. Ellen Elms is here with us. And Ellen, thanks so much for hosting us today. Thank you for coming to talk with me. Well, it is beautiful. And you said this whole process started for you sort of back in November when they approached you. And you said it was amazing because you had just finished a trip where all this was sort of floating around in your mind. Yes. Uh, my husband and I had just come back from visiting Seneca Falls where women first met to talk about working for the vote. Came home and I got a call from actually Rebecca Pruitt as part prophet as part of the Centennial Coalition and asked me if I'd be interested in working on this mural. So I was thrilled. It was my head was full of that history. <laughs> <laughs> and you said you went to work right away. And of course, 2020, the year of quarantine. So you were staying at home, but you had plenty to do as you were starting to put this pen to paper, so to speak. Yes, the process in this mural that we have used is painting on fabric pieces. And therefore, there were 16 pieces that had to be painted for the blocks of major themes in the mural. And I was able to be at home painting them one by one for spring into the summer for five months. And then in the last several weeks, my husband and I have been installing with a thick gel the, each fabric piece to the wall, which is a permanent fixture. Wow, and it is beautiful, really tells that story. And we're going to kind of get out of the way so we can show our viewers what it looks like. It's called Passing the Torch, and you really mm -hmm. picked out some of those key moments here in Johnson City. Let's start over here on the right with, of course, the woman leading the parade that happened right downtown Johnson City. Yes, that's Eliza Shellett White, and actually her granddaughter is going to participate in the festivities when we celebrate the mural, and um, she was a major force here in Johnson City, not just as a leader of suffragists here, but she was in touch with and strategized with women in the state and nationally. Alice Paul was someone mm -hmm. she connected with. And then the rest of the parade represents um, the parade that took place in 1916. And it, there are eight women and two men represented in it who are actual people that are portrayed uh, in the parade. And soldiers from the old soldiers' home marched as a fife and drum corps. And uh, the two people driving the cars, the two couples in the front of each car, represent um, people who were real and active in the movement uh, as well as other faces in there. And I noticed of course you use a lot of the purple and the gold with the white, the yellow roses, all uh -huh. instrumental during that time back in 1920. Those were the colors of the suffragists and nationally and locally as well. Well, Ellen, it is beautiful. Thank you so much for telling us a little bit about it. We'll let everybody know, too. There is an event coming up where they're going to actually dedicate this. It'll be a very special ceremony. Ellen is going to be there. It's coming up in October. Here is that information. If you'd like to take part in it, you can come and meet Ellen and hear more about the story. Coming up a little later on in the show, too, we're going to take you over to ETSU, where they have an exhibit that also shares the story of this important artwork. All that and more coming up a little later in daytime. 